Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Right now, I'm thrilled to have Kelsey Creveling joining us today. She is the consultant's consultant, but she also has the consultant's closet where she guides women to help make good fashion choices, to help them find professional wardrobe that is not only budget friendly, but also helps them display their personal brand. Kelsey, thanks for joining us virtually today. Good morning. How are you, Christine? Thank I'm you for doing, having me. Doing well and happy to have you here today. First off, tell me a little bit more about yourself. Sure. So uh, I'm a native Texan. Uh, I now reside here in Park City uh, and I've spent my career kind of at the intersection of healthcare, IT and consulting. And as a result of that, I always felt like there was a lacking in terms of professional wardrobe guidance and options for women. Uh, and that's kind of actually what spurred the consultant's closet and wanting to, to make something happen around that. And you mentioned on your website the challenges that you had when you were first starting out, just finding that right thing that really helped you feel confident and really helped show who you are when you went in for interviews or had professional meetings. Absolutely. I still vividly remember shopping for my first suit and being horribly disappointed at the options that were actually available. Uh, things were poorly fitted. It was tough to find pieces that actually went together. And as a result, it was really a struggle. And I've really continued to experience that throughout my career, even as, as I've grown and advanced, that finding clothing that continues to represent you well, but also speaks to the professionalism needed, especially in consulting, is a challenge. And you found this is a common problem among women in the workforce. So what types of things have you learned as you went about your career and really a decade long of working in the professional realm and now helping others? Oh gosh, uh, I think first and foremost, it's a matter of always being very professional in your wardrobe, no matter the formality of the occasion. So uh, being, you know, it, whether you're working with software startups and you're needing to be a lot more casual, for example, to all the way where you're maybe selling multi-million dollar deals and you need to be extremely formal in a suit, um, that doesn't change some of the fundamental core rules that people need to follow in terms of ensuring that they are representing themselves well, um, regardless of the role. And of course, now the professional landscape has changed quite dramatically. Many women are working from home. They're also juggling having the kids home, schooling the kids, all the things that are happening. So any advice for women right now to help them feel professional and display the confidence that they need while also juggling so many things? Sure. So, I mean, I think uh, there's definitely been a very fundamental shift. We're now spending time on video conferencing, which uh, is not typically very friendly <laughs> in terms of uh, outward appearance. You don't have the 3D dynamic that you can rely upon that you could previously. Um, and also we're, we're working from home, which kind of necessitates a sense of comfort, um, but we want to make sure that we aren't actually dropping our level of professionalism. So, for example, uh, while I'm not in a full formal suit these days, um, I still want to ensure that, you know, okay, I'm dressing appropriately. I'm going to be on maybe a Zoom meeting. You need to ensure that you're not wearing things that are detracting from what your message might be. So uh, you're still interacting with colleagues and you want to make sure that you're re representing yourself effectively and that you're not having anything dilute the professional brand that maybe you worked so hard to establish previously when you were in the office. I think some other things to keep in mind are what are things that you can wear that look appropriate that are um, camera friendly and don't have a lot of stripes, too much color, um, too much skin, uh, and kind of are a little bit more demure in um, kind of tonality. And then I'd say finding things that also allow you to be comfortable because if you're working from home, inevitably you might be on a conference call and you might have a quick break. You might wanna do a few dishes or take your dog around the block. Uh, and that's not, those are not activities that you want to necessarily be wearing uh, really uncomfortable, more uh, fitted clothing. So finding pieces that are easy to wear, that are kind of repeatable, if you will, so people aren't going to necessarily remember that you wore something, um, but then enables you to still look pulled together uh, and like you did not just roll out of bed. 
And as you consult with women and help them find a professional wardrobe, are there any pieces that you would recommend that are very versatile, that can help you feel professional, whether you're working at home or heading into the office? Maybe just a couple of recommendations of something that just really will work well regardless of your situation and where you're going in. Sure, um, I'm always a big fan of really easy kind of throw on uh, sheath dresses. So those are easy. A lot of times they offer a fair bit of stretch. You can easily pair them with a jacket, blazer, sweater, um, depending upon how professional you need the outfit to appear. But also they're really easy to quickly hop in the car and be able to run errands as well. Um, also, I'm a really big fan these days of more of a kind of a, a dress pant that's kind of mixed with a jogger. So something that has a little bit of stretch in it. There's a lot of brands out there these days that are coming out with more technical workwear uh, that enables you to wash it instead of having to send things out to the dry cleaners, which is always a nice benefit um, and makes it a lot kind of lower maintenance, if you will, too. Really excellent suggestions. Now, Kelsey, you work with many individuals as a consultant, whether you are providing guidance for them to help them throughout their consultant career or helping them with their professional wardrobe. How would you rate their emotional temperature right now, per se? How are your clients doing? How are they feeling? Is there a lot of optimism or not so much? Um, I think it really vacillates pretty drastically dependent upon the client and the work that they're doing. Um, I've been very fortunate to have a number of um, organizations that I work with both um, kind of at a, a professional level that are in healthcare. And as a result, you know, they've really been hit pretty significantly in terms of the need to respond effectively to the uh, pandemic. But I think there's a lot of optimism as well that, you know, we've, we've made it through that. There is increasing, you know, there's more things coming, but they're prepared. Um, in terms of dealing with individuals in the consulting space, uh, you know, there's certainly individuals that I'm working with right now who have either lost positions uh, due to downsizing or um, uh, they are have had offers pulled. Maybe they were entering the workforce and were expecting to be moving forward into positions and those positions are no longer available. And I think on the individual level, there's certainly a level of apprehension and um, I don't want to say uh, fear, but there is certainly uh, people are concerned as to what is this going to mean for them. And I've always been a very big believer in what is meant to be will be, um, you know, tough times fortunately do make tough people. And by really honing in on what is it that those individuals want in their career, where do they want to go? They're actually being given the opportunity to really design what it is that they want to be doing and be a little bit more critical around what type of organization might they want to join. I think this pandemic is in all of the kind of events that are going on in the world right now are showing us uh, what type of companies really are and uh, who you want to align yourself with when you when you go to work. And as a result, these individuals that are now kind of evaluating where they want to work and what opportunities exist for them are having that opportunity to really kind of get a critical look at who and where they want to work and what type of roles they want to be a part of. Um, and so I think there is a lot of optimism around that when you take that step back and are able to, to think critically about where you want to be and where you want to go. And Kelsey, you are based right here in Park City. How can we find out more information about you and get wardrobe help and find out more about everything that you're involved in? Absolutely. Uh, you can follow the Consultants Closet on Instagram. You can also check out our website, theconsultantscloset.com, or uh, you're welcome to find my consulting website, uh, Kelsey, K E L S, capital C, dot consulting. Well, again, Kelsey, thanks so much for being here today. We appreciate hearing more from you, picking your brain about how women can feel professional despite everything they're involved in right now, whether they're working at home or going into the office. But it's fun to get some good suggestions on what we can wear professionally and learn more about you. Thanks, Christine. All right, we'll be back with more on this Business Wednesday right after this.